To the naked eye, this is just an oak log. From the centre to the exterior are a series of circles that formed during the 50 years of its growth. The darker rings were made when the wood grew in autumn. The lighter circles show spring growth. The black diagonal lines extending from the centre are rows of vegetable cells that play an important role in the storage of nutrition. Closer still, and a surface pocked with varying sized holes appears. They're the veins through which the sap runs, feeding the tree. The large veins develop during springtime. One year separates each row of veins. The narrower veins form during autumn or winter when the growth of the tree slows. As the need for the sap diminishes at this time, the veins are smaller than those that grow during the spring. Between these autumn veins we can see smaller cells, some of them hollow, forming rectangular shapes with thick walls. These are the fibres that make up the skeleton of the tree, enabling it to stand strong and vertical. The older the fibre, the thicker the wall, diminishing the central cavity. Some are so reduced they're barely visible. At this magnification, the tree fibres appear enormous. As we approach the fibre wall, we can see it's made up of tinier fibres called microfibrils. This is cellulose, the principal component of wood. At maximum enlargement, everything becomes unfocused, then foggy. The cellulose in this oak log is not pure enough for us to see more of the microstructure. Beyond this, nothing more is visible, for the moment.